Okay, on that note, I'm leaving. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to episode 12 of Dialocraft. We are here in On The World. I'm so excited because today we are gonna go to the nether. I'm, all, I'm excited, but I'm also kind of terrified because I have no idea what the nether is gonna entail considering it's modded on this world, on this mod pack. I have no idea what is gonna happen when we go there and we're probably gonna die. But the reason why I wanna go to the nether is because I wanna decorate our world and specifically with fairy lights because you need fairy lights in your world just to bring joy <laughs> and with fairy lights you need glowstone sometimes in order to make them twinkle and I don't have any glowstone so we are gonna go to the nether to gather up some glowstone also I use glowstone for my um, my little like lamp posts that you can see like right behind me and I need more of those and I like I said ran out of glowstone so yeah we're gonna know that go to the nether for that um, but before we get to the video, also, you're probably wondering where I am at right now, because this is new, and then you're also probably wondering what that is in the far right corner of the screen. I will show you guys that in a bit, but before we get to the video, like always, we are going to start with the devotional, and today, for me, is August 16th of 2023. The idea of me watching this video back, like, 10 years later down the line, I'm going to feel so old. <laughs> And if you don't already know what a devotional is, a devotional is simply just a little tiny paragraph of encouragement, a little tiny blip of motivation or just encouragement to get you through the day, to help you with whatever it is that you are going through on that day. And it's also centered around God. So whenever I read this, this is going to be from the perspective of God. And he is basically speaking from his perspective and he's speaking to you. And today's is definitely really, really good. I'm going to keep it short because I don't want us to park on this too long. But I love today's and this is what it says. So this is from God. He is saying, I will bless my people with peace. This biblical promise is for everyone who trusts me as Savior. So when you're feeling anxious, try praying, Jesus, bless me with your peace. This, uh, this short, simple prayer connects you with me and opens you up to my help. So that is today's devotional, and it is so profound because even though it's simple and sweet, peace is something that this generation, my generation specifically, Gen Z, doesn't have much of because we have grown very comfortable with anxiety and with depression. We've honestly made it a part of our identities, and instead of going and getting help for it, people are just claiming it as who they are, and that is not okay because those things are not who we are. Those things try and attack us. They try to take away our joy. They try and take away the, the purpose of life and, and our destinies and our dreams. And they really cripple all of, the, all, all of the things that we're able to do in life. And it's just not healthy. It's not healthy for us to try and put that on ourselves as, oh, that's just who I am. Oh, no, I'm just depressed. Oh, no, I'm just anxious. Like, that, that's just me. Oh, that's just me. You know, that, that is not okay. And I want to tie this in with God because with Jesus we have unlimited access to peace and I can attest to that because I have had so many moments in my life where I have had every reason to freak out to panic to be overcome and riddled with anxiety and depression based on whatever the circumstances but miraculously and just without per like human understanding I stayed strong and I stayed somehow peaceful in, in, in a worldly perspective, it, it wouldn't make sense. And from, from my perspective, it wouldn't make sense. But from God's perspective, it makes perfect sense. Because his peace, it says in the Bible, his peace surpasses all understanding. And you may not know what that means, but just imagine this. No matter what situation you're going through, whenever you have a relationship with Jesus, whenever you are truly connected with God and you spend time with him and you get to know him as not just some random man up, up, upstairs, up in the sky, with a big white beard, but when you actually start to know God as a person and as a friend and as a father and as Lord and as Savior, when you actually start to get him to get to know him intimately, a relationship grows and there is just this sense of security that you have 
in the midst of a situation, in the midst of a problem, in the midst of a storm, you know that your God's got everything under control because he says so. That's who he is. God is completely way bigger than any situation, any problem that you have at school, at, at, with your home, with your family, with your friends, whatever issue you're facing, just know that God is bigger than it because God literally created the universe. He created the stars. He created the moon. He created the skies. He created the birds. He created the grass. He created you and he created me. So who are we to think that a little tiny situation that we're dealing with is bigger than him? And the fact is that we have him on our side. So I'm like, anytime I'm dealing with something, I'm like, you know what? I have God, the creator of the universe on my side. So therefore, the situation that I'm dealing with is really not that big. That It's not as big as I'm making it out to be. And even if it's something that you think is super huge, a huge problem, and honestly, compared in God's eyes, it's, it's so small because everything is small to God because he is such a big God. He's such a big God. And we have to find comfort in the fact that with him, we can have that peace. We can claim that peace in every situation, in every scenario. And instead of claiming depression and, and instead of claiming anxiety, we can, ca we can claim peace, we can claim strength, and we can claim joy. And that is what I want us to get on with the video. I want, that, I want us to have that in our hearts. I want us to keep that in our minds as we go throughout this video and honestly as we go throughout our lives. So yeah, let's get on with the video. I love you guys. Bye. Okay, so it is raining and very dangerous for me to be out here because I have no idea what monsters are lurking out. But you guys were probably wondering where I was. So this is a new little addition to the home. I realized that I didn't have a exit or an exit from um, my storage room out into the backyard. And I had to constantly just go upstairs and then climb all the way down these stairs. Hello, little maggot. Hello. And it was just too much. So I decided to make a little outside area. And this is a really cute little hidden just covered patio with a lot of foliage and a nice little bird feeder and a bird house because we are nature friendly and we want all the birds to just hang out here and know that this is a safe place. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh my gosh. But no, I want all the nature to come over here. <laughs> and also I have a cake because I'm fat and I love food, especially chocolate cake with sprinkles. And yeah, this is a cool little area. Also, I will show you guys that. Well, I guess I can show you that guys that right now. So on a sad note, last episode, or actually the episode before that, we had a cat die. Uh, Snowball 2.0, rest in peace. She will be dearly missed. And also, I found out, I was on the world a couple days ago, just, you know, building this, and I heard something dying. I also hear a zombie, and I have no idea where that is. If that is in my house, I, I swear... I have been noticing mobs spawning up here, and why are you in my house? This is pl this place is perfectly lit. I don't understand. There's so much light in this house. I don't get why there's bad things spawning in here. I don't get it. Um, oh, hold on. Let's let's go feed our cats because I'm sure they're starving. Um, you guys are gonna be confused because they're all weird colors. I don't know what's happening with this mob, but we're just gonna accept it. <laughs> <laughs> there's clearly some kind of glitch, but there's nothing I can do about it. So we're just going to be okay with it. Let me come on. Let me, let me feed you guys. Okay. Is there any poop in the sand? Nope. Wow. Do y'all just not poop? Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Y'all are still all alive. Good. Even though you're rainbow colors. Don't know what happened to um, Snowball, but she is yellow. And who's this one? I don't even know which one's which. Well, anyways. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go downstairs. What? Really? Are you serious? How are you spawning in my home? And why did it take forever for you to die? I don't get what's going on here. Okay. So, what was I even saying? Oh. Oh, no. It's still raining. What was I even saying? Oh, yes. Uh, something died. Yeah. So, um, I was building and I overheard something died. I then I took I took a look in our um, aquarium and noticed that Live Die, ironically in the name, Live Die is gone. Live Die dead. Live Die is die. Live is no longer live, and she is just die. So we're gonna have to um, put them in the cemetery that I built <laughs> because I prophesy a many deaths in this world. So that is what I built over here, and. I tried to be funny, but it's kind of just sad. <laughs>
dead. Instead of cemetery, I just decided to say dead because I didn't have enough space for the word cemetery. So it's kind of cool. But this is a cemetery for all of our dearly departed animals. And clearly I have a lot of faith in death because there's a lot of tombstones here. Um, I want food. You're not going to go in the cemetery. I just, I just want to eat you. And yeah, we have... <laughs> We have our own cemetery now, so actually what I want to do is, um, well, first let me just empty my inventory real quick, but I'm going to go ahead and just make a spot for Snowball 2.0 and also Live Die. Here lies Snowball 2, oop, not 32, good lord, Snowball 2.0. Um, I don't know, I was going to put how they died, but I don't really know how she died. I'll just put rip. <laughs> Goodbye, Snowball 2.0. And then our dearly, our dearly beloved, our dearly beloved, Live Die, who we've had in this world since day one. And I'm gonna have to make another one because that was for my friend Nicole and my friend Kiki. And that is so sad. That is just so sad. Here lies Live Die. I love you, baby. I'm not going to put baby. <laughs> so anyways, I'm so sorry that I, I couldn't have been a better owner. Okay, on with the video. <laughs> Quite conveniently, we got some diamonds back when we went to the village to get our cats. And I actually perfectly have three. So I, I needed a <laughs> diamond pickaxe to get obsidian. So this literally is quite perfect. So now we have that. And if I do remember... Looking at the map, oh, we're inside the house. Hold on, let me go outside. Okay, if I do remember looking at the map, if it would update. Um, how do I fix it? Well, there should be a lava area over here, if I remember. I believe so. So let's just go over there. Oh, is it turning nighttime? I think it's turning that time. Eh, whatever. We can risk it for the biscuit. We can risk it for the lava. Bob and weave. Oh, that did not work. Bob and weave, Dylan. Bob and weave. This isn't working. I'm not bobbing and weaving really well. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go at night. Oh! Get away from me. Huzzah! There is a lava. <laughs> Let's get this. Mm, so satisfying. Very, very cool indeed. Now I'm gonna do the water trick. That way I don't lose any of the obsidian because mining this stuff takes a long time and it's very painful. Okay. I will see you guys later. <laughs> After like 20 blocks of obsidian, this is gonna take an hour. I retrieved the obsidian. I got 35 and I had a terrific idea this waterfall right here, I think it would be pretty swell for us to put a portal behind it. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right, right behind the water. It's going to be so cool. It's going to be so dope. You literally, as soon as you walk right through the waterfall, you're just going to go straight into the nether. And oh, something kind of dark that I thought of that's kind of like ties in with this graveyard is the fact that the nether portal is right in the center of the cemetery it's almost like a portal to hell because it's fitting because of uh, dead people i mean hopefully you're not going to hell i hope you're not <laughs> but anyways <laughs> oh my gosh i have 19 left <gasps> you know what that means i can make a backpack guys i've been wanting to make a backpack because if you can tell my inventory is full and there is an obsidian backpack where is it i saw it earlier right here I want to make a, an obsidian backpack. I have plenty left, so all I need is leather, gold, bank, backpack tin. Okay, and okay, there's a little bit more in depth than I thought. But let's go get a flint and steel real quick so we can light this baby. Let's just make a backpack while we're here. So the tanks are glass and iron, which I have plenty of, and I need two of those. So we're just gonna do that real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Where is my iron? I thought I had it in my inventory. Oh my goodness. Dylan, get it together. Okay, let's do that again.
and boom, 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 boom. Okay, then we got that. And we also need, what else do we need? What else do we need? A chest, a sleeping bag, and uh, gold. Okay, and plenty of leather, which I know I have. Two! Well, I mean, I can just go kill some cows. And also a chest. A chest. There we go. And um, a little sleeping bag. Does it have to be regular? I mean, I have, I have plenty of dye. And there we go. Okay, that should be everything. Oh, and the gold. And the gold. One piece of gold. And I will go kill some cows. And we will make our backpack. But in the meantime, let's go light up the portal to hell. The, po the portal to the nether. That sounds a lot better. Okay. Where is my flint and steel? There it is. <gasps> oh, it's going to be so cool. I think this is like the cool... Oh, hello, little apple. I said it like, um, Moira from, um, that show. Aha! What the? Was I there this whole time? Okay, that was. I don't know why I thought that got placed by the portal. Ooh! Oh, wait, crap. I'm on the other side. That means I have to go through. I was not, I was not trying to go to the nether yet. I, I was not trying to go to the nether yet. By golly, you're loud. Okay, well, um, that's the only way I can get through is if we go. So, I guess we'll go. Oh wait! Oh never mind. I can go through. Okay. For some reason, I thought that if you just automatically went through it, you went through. Okay. Well, never mind. Cause I don't want to go yet. I'm too nervous. We have to go kill some cows. We gotta go make some backpacks, or just singular one backpack. Um, and then we will be ready. I think. I don't know. I I, I don't know. Hello, cows. Who wants to give me their leather, their skin? You did not. Hello. What about you? You're just giving me beef. I mean, thank you, but I'm not getting any letter. Oh, <gasps> thank you. That's all I wanted. Thank you. You know, that doesn't make any sense in the game. Like, think about it. What if you killed a cow in real life? Like, obviously it has leather. There's not going to be a moment where you're not going to get leather from a cow. Minecraft, be more realistic. Anyway, let's get our backpack. Come on. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. What do I? I think it's. I think it's like this, and a uh, chest. <gasps> oh, and then obsidian. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I love that. Okay, so do I just? <gasps> oh, and then I can put water and I can put lava. Oh my gosh, that's dope. Okay, so do I just? Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, and then we can put lava in there. <gasps> and there's a crafting table in here. Oh my gosh, this is everything I have ever dreamed. Do I have it on? Oh, I have my backpack on. Oh, that is so dope. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. That is awesome. Okay, now we are ready for the nether, I think. <laughs> and we're not gonna be in there for long. At least I don't wanna be, because all we're gonna need is um, glowstone. So hopefully we spawn in an area that is very, very open and I don't have to go searching for glowstone. It better be right there. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Hey, here. It's so blue. What is that? That's some kind of like. There's a gas. Oh! There's fire. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm getting thrown. I don't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's something attacking me. There's something attacking me. There's something attacking me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. What? What is hurting me? I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Ow! What was that? What was that, y'all? There was something flinging me around the room. I don't know if it was like a poltergeist or something. What are these rooms? What are those? I have no idea what those could- Oh, there's a- 
Y'all, this is the best spawn I have ever seen ever. We are right next to a fortress. I didn't even have to go digging. And there's glowstone everywhere. Oh, this is grand. Oh, this is beautiful. But I have no idea what those weird things are. There's a weather skeleton over there. And these little dudes are horrible. Is... Huh? Eggplant. Eggplant. I thought maybe it was a gas because as soon as I hit it, they started screaming. I got scared. And what is this? Why did this start hurting me? I don't understand. I feel like it was the same. I, I, how am I going to get to the freaking glowstone? It's all covered with these eggplant thingies. I don't even have anything to block up with. I didn't think this through. On second thought, this is the worst spawn ever. Actually, no, I can just walk. Okay, I was very scared. I thought this was like evil sand or something. Oh my gosh, there's an ogre. What is that? It's so cute. It's a little flaming wolf. Oh, <gasps> I've hit the mother load. That's a lot of glowstone. That's all I wanted. All I wanted in life. Oh my gosh, are you evil? Please don't let me kill you. I don't want to kill you. Oh, you're going to make me kill you, bruh. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, I forgot. I can fly. Okay, well, sick. Because I, I want to be a bat, and I don't want to have to... Um. Oh, wait. No, bats, bats don't really work. Let's do this, dude. This will work, and I can just, like, mine the obsidian while flying. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting thrown again. What is... Is it a poltergeist thing? What is it? Curse? Oh, it's a curse. Well, that is weird. What is that? What is that? What is that? I hate this place. I'm leaving. I just want glowstone. That's all I wanted was glowstone. I'm just going to get out of here. Oh, and there's a cast over there. <gasps> that blaze could see me from a mile away. This place is really horrible compared to regular mine, regular nether. Okay, on that note, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't like these sounds. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Dylan. I mean, not me. I don't want to die. Goodbye, nether. Goodbye. Good riddance. It was nice knowing you. And I don't know if I ever want to go back in there. Yay. We now have everything we need to make our fairy lights. And the first ones I want to make are these really cute little flower ones. I want to put these in our cemetery. And maybe some other places too. But I think I want to do... Ah, I don't know what color. Um, 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 um. I, I think I'll do magenta. And I should have some magenta. Ooh, do I? Oh, there we go. Okay. That is one right there. I might have another. I don't know. Maybe we'll just mix it with pink, I guess. I don't know. Pink and magenta. That, that can go g well together. <laughs> okay. And so the way you make that is magenta dye in the middle, poppy, dandelion, and a blue orchid. And I think I have all of those. Oh, I don't have a poppy. I used it all for ye yellow dye. Oh, no. But I have blue orchid. Okay. Let me go grab some flowers from outside. Thankfully, they're like right here. Shut that door. Shut that door. And... Hello, Kiki. Okay. Let's see here. And iron. I have all of that. So, put that there. And there. And there. And iron. Oh! It makes way more than I thought. Okay, maybe... You know what? Let's just not do magenta. Let's just do pink. That should be fine. And then I also want to do regular yellow fairy lights. And these are the ones that I want to twinkle. So we need glass panes. Uh-oh. I already have glass in my inventory. I'll just make some. There we go. And then we have our glowstone. So I think the way we just make the glowstone... Or I think the way we just make it twinkle is after we do this. Let's see here. Okay. So it is... Yellow st or yellow dye, and then it is that, and I okay, yep, there we go. Let's just make another one, one more. There we go, and then after that, I think where is it? These right here. So it's more iron. Dang, this is expensive. 
string and then the fairy light that we made and then also glowstone dust. So where's the string? Oh my gosh, I thought Kiki was outside of her. Oh my gosh, I have so much string. Well, that's good. One, two, one, two. How many should I make? I have no idea. One, two, three, four. Five. I guess I'll just do five for now because I also want to use the iron for the um, flower ones we did. There we go. Okay, there's five. And then also these guys. One, two, three, four. Oh, look. That's perfect. Oh, my gosh. That's perfect. Hey. Okay, cool. Oh, awesome. Okay, I just want to put one in here. <coughs> and I want to go over there. Haha. <coughs> 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 -ha. Oh, they do twinkle. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, maybe <laughs> maybe mobs won't spawn anymore. What the heck? They were yellow for a second. Maybe mobs won't spawn anymore after I put these in my house. I want to go ahead and put these upstairs in my bedroom because that would be the perfect spot for these. Let's go up here. And let's put these in my bedroom. Let's see. Where should I put it? Right here and... Ah, that's a little too low. I'm gonna walk through that. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I will find another way. <laughs> I don't know if I can fit them in here. Maybe, maybe I'll figure that out. Can I go through? Am I too fat? Hello? There we go. My goodness. Ooh, okay, we'll put one in here with the kitty cats that seem to be glitching. Um, but they are fine. They are still alive. Put that. Yay! Okay. That's cute. That looks adorable. Haha. What the? <laughs> I think I just placed one down. How do I get up there and fix this? My goodness. I hear something shooting at me. Oh! No! I think this came from the grave. This came from the... It came from the dead. Let me... Let me somehow... How am I going to get up there? Okay. Let's fix you up. There we go. And let's place you over. I guess over here. <gasps> oh, I'm climbing. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Ooh, should I do it that tall? No, I'll just do it right here. There we go. Haha! -ha. Oh, I love it. I love it a lot. This looks lovely. I have one more, so might as well just do the last one. With some parkour. Oh. I <laughs> suck at parkour. Okay. That is good. Oh, I love that. This place looks adorable. That's cool. You are not going to come after me any longer. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. You can't hurt me anymore. Oh, I need to put some in here. Oh, that would be perfect. Okay. Um. Boy, if you don't get out of here. There we go. <laughs> I want to put some right here. I think that would be really cool. Oh, I love it. I like it a lot. And then put some on the inside as well. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. And then I guess one on the other side. Haha. -ha. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Awesome. This looks dope. I'm, I'm, I like that I put these in here. This makes this room look even better. Okay, well, I think that is going to be the it for... I think that's going to be it for today's episode. We did a cool stuff. We went to the nether for the very first time. And I don't know if I plan on ever going back because I hated it so much. There's a lot of random, scary, mysterious stuff over there. But I guess that means we definitely should go back because there's some weird things in there that I have never before seen. <laughs> but we got some cool fairy lights to decorate our world with. And we also got this really cool backpack. Um, I'm super excited to have this backpack. The fact that I can literally craft anytime I want, wherever I want without a crafting table. Wow, that's pretty cool. Why do I hear... Why do I hear a villager? Please don't tell me he's in my house. Is he in my house? Okay. I bet it's just my parrot. Is it you? I think it's just you. Why are you 
Why are you pranking me like that, bruh? Why are you pranking me like that, bruh? My goodness. Well, anyways, goodbye. Y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>